Friends, let us continue with the discussion on module 1. In this lecture, we will discuss about some special properties of matrices which are useful for computer methods of structural analysis. Let A be a given matrix, then a sub matrix is defined as a matrix form by deleting specified rows and columns of the matrix A. Instead of doing the deletion, there is an alternative for this. You can also partition the matrix. We will see the advantages of partitioning quite a while from now. This useful technique when the matrix size is too large. Let us explain this by a set of algebraic equations. Let y 1 be a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2 plus a 1 q x q plus a 1 q plus 1 x q plus 1 a 1 n x n. Similarly, y 2 b a 2 1 x 1 plus a 2 2 x 2 plus a 2 q x q plus a 2 q plus 2 x q plus 2 plus a 2 1 x n. Similarly, let us say y n is a n 1 x n plus a n 2 x 2 plus a n q x q plus a n comma q plus 1 x q plus 1 plus a n n x. Let this be set of algebraic equations named as 1. <coughs> then the above set of equations can be also grouped let us see how. I can say this as y 1 is equal to a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2 plus a 1 q x q plus a 1 q plus 1 x q plus 1 plus a 1 n x n Similarly, y 2 is also grouped as a 2 1 x 1 plus a 2 2 x 2 plus a 2 q x q and then plus a 2 q plus 1 x q plus 1 plus a 2 n x n. By this logic, y n can be expressed as a n 1 x 1 plus a n 2 x 2 plus a n q x q plus a n q plus 1 x q plus 1 plus a n n x n. I call this a set of equations 2. Now, let me express both the set of equations in a matrix form y 1 y 2 y n can be expressed as a 1 1 
a 1 2 a 1 q a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 q a n 1 a n 2 a n q of x 1 x 2 x q plus a 1 q plus 1 a 1 n a 2 q plus 2 a 2 n a n q plus 1 a n n multiplied by x q plus 1 x q plus 2 x n. I call this as equation 3. Equation 3 is a matrix representation of equation 1 and 2. In fact, 1 is a general equation whereas, 2 is a grouped equation. So, this is one group, this is another group. Till q is one group, then q plus 1 is another group. I express equation 2 in two groups, first group and second group. Till q the first group and q plus 1 onwards the second group, second group this. Let us see what is the advantage of doing this. Now, I can write the vector y as a 1 and vector x 1 plus a 2 and the vector x 2, where a 1 is actually a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 q, a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 q, a n 1, a n 2, a n q and a 2 is actually a 1 comma q plus 1 which goes till a 1 n, a 2 comma q plus 1 which goes till 2 n, a n comma q plus 1 which goes a n n and x 1 is x 1 x 2 of x q and x 2 is x of q plus 1 q plus 2 till x n. Okay. I call this equation as equation 4. Okay. Now, let us see the size. Let us write down y, we can see the size y is n into 1, a 1 is n by q, a 2 is n by n minus q, x 1 is q into 1 and x 2 is n minus q into 1. So, there should be a perfect compatibility between the respective multiplying matrices that is y will have n plus n into 1 which will have a 1 of n q and vector x 1 of q 1 okay, n q and q 1 plus a 2 which will be n of n minus q a 2 which will have a vector x 2 which is n minus q of 1. So, you can see the compatibility the number of columns and the number of rows of the adjacent multipliers should be same number of columns and number of rows should be same. So, ultimately this will result in a product of n is to 1, this will also n cross 1, I get n cross 1. So, there should be a perfect compatibility to ensure this grouping. Okay? So, now I can say that 
A 1 is a sub matrix of A of size n by q and A 2 is a sub matrix of A of size n cross n minus q. Having said this let y be a x that is y 1 y 2 y n should be a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 q then a 1 q plus 1 till a 1 n similarly a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 q a 2 q plus 1 a 2 n going till a n 1 a n 2 a n q a n comma q plus 1 going till a n n multiplied by x 1 x 2 going till x q then x q plus 1 going till x n. Okay. That is the whole equation. I call this as equation phi which is same as the original equation, but please understand I am going to now group them. So, what I am going to do is I am going to now put partition lines okay. these are the two partition lines. So, now I am writing y as two matrices a 1 partition a 2 which are sub matrices multiply by the vector x 1 partition x 2. Okay. So, now I can say y is a 1 x 1 plus a 2 x 2. Now, the equation 6 is called partitioned matrix. To be very precise matrix A is vertically partitioned. You can see here matrix A is vertically partitioned and vector x is horizontally partitioned. Now, very important to make valid partition of A and the vector x, it is important to establish compatibility. that is number of columns of A let us say A 1 must correspond to number of rows of x 1 to make A 1 x 1 valid that is very important. Okay. Let us call something about cross partitioning. So, far we have seen vertical and horizontal partitioning of the matrix. Let us consider the same equation again y is actually a of x. Let a be partitioned both horizontally and vertically. Into sub matrices
let us say how to do that a now will be expressed as a 1 1 which will be of size p by q a 1 2 which will be of size p into n minus q a 2 1 which will be of size m minus q which will be of size m minus p into q and a 2 2 will be of size m minus p into n minus q and the whole matrix is of size m by n. Okay. So, now I draw a partition vertical and horizontal. Similarly, let us talk about x vector. Let x also be partitioned horizontally. So, x vector which is n by 1 will be actually equal to x 1 of q into 1 and x 2 of n minus q into 1. Now, I have a partition which will be horizontal, which will give me the size as n by 1 and therefore, the resulting matrix y which will be m into 1 will also be a partition value which is y 1 of p into 1 and y 2 of m minus p into 1 and I will have a partition of this matrix which is going to be horizontal. Therefore, mm -hmm.